Hey everyone, it's great to be back in the kitchen. I had a couple of weeks off recently. I went on holiday and I ended up having to take a week off to recover from the holiday. But I'm back and I'm feeling good and I am ready to start making something delicious. And boy is it delicious today. I'm making a beautiful side dish that's great not just for summer. You could have this year round. It's great for parties or barbecues or just serving with your favourite dishes. Let's make this beautiful creamy mustard potato salad on the One Pot Chef. First things first, in order to make our potato salad, obviously we're going to need some potatoes. So I've got a kilogram or just over two pounds of little red potatoes. Now what I've done is I have boiled them for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they are nice and tender. You can just poke them with a little fork just to make sure they're nice and cooked. Now you don't want to overboil them because if you overboil them they can end up becoming mushy and you want potato salad, not potato mush. Now I'm using these little red potatoes. I'm using them today because they've got a nice colour on the outside. I like to have the skin on the potatoes when I make a potato salad. And also these are fairly easy to cook. So what I'm going to do is once they've been cooked, you just let them cool off, you drain all the water off, allow them to cool. You can either leave them on the counter or pop them in the fridge to chill. They must be completely cold before you start making your potato salad. If the potatoes are still hot or even slightly warm, you can end up damaging the dressing of the potato salad. It can end up becoming all turned and oily and greasy and it just becomes a complete mess. So make sure they are nice and cold. So all we're going to do is cut these into quarters. These ones are only small so quarters are fine. If you're using larger potatoes I'll let you use your best judgment but basically you want bite-sized pieces like that. So if you prefer it slightly smaller, you can do that too, but that's just about perfect for me. Once you've chopped up your potatoes, you can pop them into a nice big bowl. You want a bowl that you've got a bit of room to move when it comes to tossing the potato salad. So make sure you're not using a small bowl. Try to use the biggest bowl you've got. Once they're chopped up, pop them into the bowl and set them aside while we work on our dressing. To make the dressing, this is really easy, but it's so, so tasty. I've got a little jug and I've got half a cup of good quality mayonnaise. I'm using whole egg mayonnaise today, but feel free to use a lighter alternative if you prefer. But try to use a good quality mayonnaise, not the cheapest one on the shelf, because I find that when it comes to a potato salad, it's made or broken by the quality of the mayonnaise. If you use a really cheap, tasteless one, you end up with a really bland potato salad and nobody wants that. So we've got half a cup of good quality whole egg mayonnaise. To that, I'm adding in three tablespoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Now I'm using Dijon mustard today because it's got a nice mild flavor. It's not too hot. It's not like a hot English mustard. It's got the lovely flavour, the nuttiness of mustard without the heat and it's really great for this kind of dressing. I'm also adding in a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika in a potato salad. It gives it that lovely smoky, barbecuey, almost bacony flavour to it. And we're also going to season this with a little bit of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. You can add the salt and pepper to taste and all we need to do is just carefully mix everything together until it's lovely and smooth and combined. This smells amazing already. It's got this lovely sort of pale yellow, slightly coral flecks to it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I recommend you give this a little bit of a taste before we go any further, just to make sure the dressing is to your liking. So you can always add a bit more salt and pepper to it if you need to. You could add more mustard. If the mustard flavor is too strong for you, you can add a little bit more mayonnaise to even it out. Just give it a quick taste, make sure it's perfect, and then we can start assembling our potato salad. Assembling the potato salad is easy as pie. So we've got our potatoes in our big bowl. Next I'm adding in one small red onion and I've just carefully chopped that up. I use a red onion in potato salad because I love the colour of it, but also it's got a slightly less over the top flavour than say using a yellow or brown onion. I find it has a slightly sweeter flavour to it, which goes nicely with everything that we're putting together today. 
I'm putting in two boiled eggs. I've got some hard boiled eggs here, which I have just chopped up. Now, eggs are entirely irrelevant to this recipe. I just love having some boiled eggs in my potato salad. I think it's absolutely delicious, but feel free to leave it out if you don't like it. And I'm also adding in two tablespoons of finely chopped chives. Now, you're probably thinking chives have got a bit of an oniony flavour and I'm sort of double onioning here, but the chives have a really mild flavour. They also have less of an oniony flavour as they do have this sort of lovely fresh flavour, this greenness, and it also adds a lovely splash of colour to the potato salad. Next, I'm going to add in half of our dressing. I like to put the dressing on in stages when I make a potato salad, so that way it doesn't end up sort of clumping together too much. So I put half on now and using a pair of salad spoons, I'm just going to quickly toss everything together. This is the advantage of using a really big bowl, even if it's way bigger than the salad you're making. It does make a big difference if you can toss everything around without having to worry about it flying over the edge of the bowl. I'll just add in the rest of that dressing and give it another toss. And that's all there is to it really, you just toss it all together. I recommend popping your potato salad into the fridge to chill, cover it with some plastic wrap first to make sure it doesn't go dry, and then giving it a light toss just before serving. While our potato salad is chilling in the fridge, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it, that way you won't miss out on any of my new recipe videos. And here we have our completed creamy mustard potato salad and it's looking absolutely sensational. Now just a couple of little presentation points because I'm a little OCD like that. Basically, I transferred the potato salad into a smaller bowl just to make it look nice so there wasn't any sort of streaky bits around the edges where I was tossing the salad earlier. And it's also in a smaller bowl so it actually looks like a full bowl of potato salad rather than being a half a bowl. I also garnished with a little bit of extra freshly chopped chives on top just to make it look nice and green and beautiful. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Everyone can now tuck in and enjoy this beautiful potato salad. You guys, I wish you could smell this through the screen. It is absolutely amazing. The flavour of this is going to be incredible. I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste. Let's see if I can spear a bit of potato here. Yep. Back, you slippery little sucker. <laughs> okay, here goes. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. <laughs> That's sensational. <laughs> the potatoes are beautiful and tender. You've got those wonderful combination of flavours in there. You've got the mustard, you've got the mayonnaise, you've got the onion and the chives. It's a wonderful sort of slightly savoury, slightly sweet flavour to it. It's really, really tasty. And this is so easy to put together. You can throw this together a day in advance if you're doing something like a barbecue or a party, or you can just toss this together in a couple of hours, because really all you have to do is wait for the potatoes to chill and then you can just chuck it all together in a few minutes. There's really very little work to this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Great thing about this is you can easily add a few extras to it to make this even better. You could turn this into a honey mustard potato salad by simply adding a tablespoon or two of honey to the dressing. You could also add in some extra spice to it. You could add a little bit of chilli if you wanted to make this a little bit hotter. You could add in some capsicum to give a bit of lovely colour to it, a bit of red bell pepper, really give it a good flashy colour to it. You can do all sorts of things. Use your imagination, add your favourite ingredients. I guarantee you're going to absolutely love this potato salad.